hello everyone so here in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrap the remaining information like in previous video what we learned was installing the scrappy and setting up uh, the environment for scrappy right and we did the extraction of author names from this particular page so this page is particularly available for scrapping you would not have any uh, obstacles or any stoppage or any inconvenience when you are scrapping this particular page right so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take this scrapping on the next level right so in this what we will do is like in the previous one we have already extracted the author name so here what we're going to do is we're going to extract this quotation which is given by this author and all these tags which we have available over here let's just start with this so when we do this there are a couple of ways of doing this one using the css selector which we have done over here and then the other way is using xpath both of these two things i'm going to show you so we can do the same thing using this same technique over here but before that let me show you an interesting part okay so j let's just go to this terminal over here and from here what we can do is we will simply start a shell right so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna say scrappy and then let's just say shell all right and over here you just need to put the url of this particular page or whatever page you want to scrap url okay so scrappy then put the command and then put the url just hit enter now when you do enter what you're gonna get over here is here you will get a powershell environment the way you have powershell in windows same kind of environment you're gonna get over here now once you are over here you see what happened is whatever url you had provided it has extracted the html information of this source page information of this and it has stored in response variable and you see we what we got is 200 that means the request was accepted okay by the website right sometime when it is not accepted it is when it is rejected you will get some other code over here in the very first video of web scrapping i have explained that thing just check that out okay now over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start scrapping let's just try doing the same thing let's just try to scrap the author name so we will just say response.css and inside that we're gonna put this thing now i'll revise it once again so if you want to fetch any element from here what you do need to do is just right click and go on inspect when you do so this is what you get now just take this arrow and hover on the item which you want to scrap so this is the item which i want to scrap now from here what you see is this is the tag which has the value which we need to scrap okay so the tag name is small all right and inside that we have the attribute class and item prop the both of these two attributes have the same value you can choose either of these two attribute so to fetch this particular information this is residing under small tag so we need to take small and a value of any of the attributes so uh, here we would take two things small and author let's just come back over here let's let's just type the tag name html tag name was a small let's just see yes it was small and then the tag was author all right sorry the value was author let's just validate the spelling a u t h o r a u t h o r all right now when you do so this will grab this whole element now once this whole element is grabbed the system would also like to know what is the value out of that web element this is the entire web element will be fetch out of this what is exactly that you want to extract so we want to extract albert einstein which is nothing but the text value so here we will simply say text so here what we did is we provided the address and after that we need to put double colon and then say text close the quotation close the parenthesis operator and then over here you need to say extract right so this is the command which you are giving now just hit enter here is what you need right so here you got that now next let's try to fetch this quotation right so how how can we do that just again take this arrow hover on this and over here what you see the span tag has two attributes class and item prompt sorry item prop so to take this what we see over here is we have a span 
HTML tag and that has the attribute class which has the value text. So this is it. This is what all we require. Okay. So just come back over here. Let's just come back over here. All right. So let's just see what is the problem. Okay. We got this. All right. So let's just say response. This is not auto completed. CSS and inside that you just start the quotation and the tag which you require is span dot the value which you have in attribute is text so let's just say text and what you want to fetch is again text so say double colon whatever you want to extract you need to put that after double clone so uh, colon okay now here this is the address after giving the address you need to put the double colon which is equals you uh, you can say that it's equals or something like that okay and what exactly that you want is you simply want to say i require text and then just close the bracket and then you need to give the command what exactly you want so i want to extract it okay and let's just do this so here you got here you got all the quotation next thing which we require to do is fetch these tags how can we do that for that again take this arrow and hover on this and here is what you require so just hit uh, just expand this and inside this if you see this is the a tag which has this value right these are the tag values which we require right this change deep thinking world etc okay so we will take this a and it has an attribute which is called class and in that we have the value tag so we're gonna use a dot tag right so let's just try so again we're gonna say response dot css inside that we can say a dot tag and what we require is text okay now let's just see what happens and then we can say extract and close this so here we got all the tags all right now the next thing which we which we will learn to fetch is what if you want to get these values so the interesting part is these are the values stored in an attribute so that's what we want to fetch over here so how can we do that it's very simple right till now we have been extracting text but here we want to extract the value which are stored in an attribute so let me show you how can you do that let's just say response inside that you can oh sorry css and then you can say a dot tag a dot tag because sorry here what you see is a is the html tag and inside that you are picking one attribute which we which is let's say this class which has the value tag so that's what you are saying over here after this what you did over here to fetch the x uh, to fetch the text we we just said double colon text and over here what we require is we require the attribute value so i can just say a double t r which is nothing but attribute and inside that put the attribute which value you want to extract so we have the attribute href and uh, we want to extract the value which is stored into this right so this is what we just did now after we, we are done with this just close the quotation and this and then just say extract and close this okay now hit enter here is that here is what you require all right so this is how you can do all these kind of extractions all right now after this what i am going to do is i will apply all these things over here and then we'll store that in csv let me just take this command one by one i'm not sure if i can copy this from here do i have the option to copy it oh uh, yes i can just select this and let's just copy this from here come back over here and i will just say let's call it you know uh, links let's tag links let's say tag links okay and here you can just put this now next once you are done with this the next thing which you require to do is just make key for each of these things and yield that in a dictionary right so list quotes let's just say list quotes and after this you can just use the quotes then comma right so this is done okay now what we need to do is we simply say save 
after that we want to store all this result into a csv file so first of all we require to come out of this powershell how can we do that so for that you can just say exit and you are out of this powershell then we need to reach inside this scrappy so what you can do is you can say there are two my uh, my scrapping folders so you can simply say cd then oops, cd then say my scrapping sorry scrapping again my scrapping let me move it out okay now we are inside my scrapping then we need to call spiders and then we are inside this now we need to say scrappy scrappy because we want to run this particular patch right so what here over here we have our crawler name web crawler name my crawler okay so that's what we're gonna say over here scrappy crawl and then put your crawler name i want to store store it in csv file so i will say minus o and then i will say my csv csv my csv dot csv this is the extension now just hit enter and you would have this output created let's just go and try to check out if we have that stored over here so here is the output let's just click this and over here like you can see you have three columns list authors list codes and list tags so in this video i'm going to keep this only and in the next one i would explain how to use the x path because the time is over right thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck